well-paid girlfriend. Chili Billy Burr, my girlfriend of one year, is about to graduate from a major university. Dude, you hit the lottery. Very nice. And became a type of bioscientist starting out at 80 grand a year. He hit the lottery. You know, every time she walks in the house, you should just hear, and just march around behind her. My girlfriend's a shit. Uh, with that type of career and her intelligence, her salary will only go up from there. I worked the front desk at a hotel in a small town. I'm not going to say the state. Making nowhere near that. Oh, God. Here we go. Now, a bunch of women are getting mad right now. See that? You see that? They just can't handle it. Their egos cannot handle our sex. That's how I lie. Um, this is why. You know why that is, ladies? Because you're basically doing our job. What would you do if one day your man came home and he was suddenly sexier than you and could actually give birth to a baby? Wouldn't you feel fucking useless at that point? You know, if a woman is making way more money than you are, I mean, all she has to do is just go to the gym with you and out bench press you. And then that's it. I mean, you're officially not even a man anymore. Like this isn't really about the woman. All right. This is about a guy. Where it's just like, okay, so you're going to provide and you can have the baby. Then I might as well be a fucking wooden Indian over here holding cigars because I'm useless. You know what I mean? Come on, ladies. You know the deal. Don't you want to feel like you're needed? You know? I mean, Jesus Christ, this guy at this point, he's, he's a fucking Kardashian. His job is just to stand there and look good. So anyways, he says, uh, I'm a well-traveled guy without a college degree and an ambition of larger, ambition larger than the job market, but I'm happy. Well, there you go, dude. You won. You won. You didn't waste all your money going to college. You know, I think, you know, if, if, you, if, you, if you major as a bioscientist, but what the fuck is she going to do? Huh? Help some corporation come up with some bugs they can spray on some poor people so they can get the oil in the ground? You know, like, how do you go into bio scientific arena and it, and it doesn't end up being something evil? You know, if you guys hear that disgusting sound in the background, it's my dog licking her paws. She fucking she hurt her foot. We've got this goddamn cage that's made out of like fucking plutonium that was supposed to be pit bull proof. She's such a fucking maniac. It's like if we just leave her alone in the house, she freaks out because she has separation anxiety because some douche beat her and left her by a river, right? So if we leave her alone in here, she tries to claw out of the house. And at this point, she could because there's so many fucking holes in it, all right? So we were told to, to get like one of these little ca – they call them casas. It's a fucking cage. You put them in a cage. Now they don't feel overwhelmed that they have to protect the whole house. It's just this little area. This thing, I swear to God, it's made out of like rebar or something. The other day, she ripped a fucking Pete, one of the bars off. And this is what I love. She buried it under a bed. You know, like she's Tim Robbins in Shawshank, slowly digging a hole. And he's got the Marilyn Monroe fucking whatever poster it was, Rita Hayworth. Um, so whatever. She's over there licking her wounds. It's funny as hell. I literally carry her down the street, let her go to the bathroom, and then I bring her back. And then I take out the little fucking, looks like an uh, oxy pad. Like she has acne and I have to wipe down her paw. It's getting better if everybody feels bad. She's fine. She's a pit bull. Fucking maniac. She so gets into the goal. I'm going to get out of here. Chipping teeth and shit. She's nuts. Fucking nuts. But I swear to God, her work ethic is incredible. She plays hurt, you know, just like Jordan. Um, anyways, where where am I here? He said, I do love this girl. But I don't want to find myself three years down the road getting dumped for not being her financial equal. I'm pretty successful with the ladies, so it's not like I can't find another female who I can connect with and lead a happy middle-class life. She has a passion for goats. She wants a farm, and I can really en see enjoying the farm life. No more shitty boss. No more uh, shitty asshole customer bullshit. Growing food, learning trades, carving out my own way. I've talked to her about the money thing. And she responded by saying, why would you worry about that? Well, dude, that was going to be my advice. Just just say that. You know, tell her. And she says she's not worried about it. Yeah, until she gets fucking laid off and you're over there whittling in the corner. Um, he said, money is such a small priority to me. I don't care how much 
you make as long as you contribute. Me making so much money doesn't mean I'll have more money, just more goats. Hey, Cleo, knock it off, which I know she truly means right now. Uh, but right now, she isn't making $100,000 a year living with some schmo who's grinding it out for an hourly wage. Life takes you places you don't expect. So she may shelf the farm life for a legitimate career doing whatever she decides, which would leave me pretty much incapable of contributing a solid share towards the standard of life that she is capable of living. Oh, if you guys leave your hypothetical farm. Okay. Um, I would have left already, but I don't want to prematurely fuck up a great thing just because I'm insecure. Well, that's, you know, something that's very uh, perceptive, you know, dude, you're not that bad, man. You, you, you analyze yourself. You see how you're fucking things up, you know, and you know what makes you happy. You're in a great place right now. Anyway, she's crazy about me and I'm pretty crazy about her, but I'm a real, but I am a realistic and real, a realist and logic tells me that I'm potentially step just a stepping stone in her very successful future. Look, dude, if she's fucking crazy about you and you're, you're saying you're pretty crazy about her, if you weren't so insecure, I think you'd be crazy about her too. Uh, you want to ride this one out. All right. And, um, Look, there's that lady with the fucking Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, her husband, and I guess her husband's an architect. He did design the house. All right, that was a bad example. <laughs> Listen, dude. Um, I don't know, man. I, like, well, here's one for you. What if this relationship would have worked out, but your insecurity, you kicked it to the curb, and then fucking, you know, 15 years later, you're in your late 30s, just broke up with somebody else drinking the local IPA, just going like, you know, I, I should have stayed with. Oh, I had this beauty back in the day. Fuck that. If you got a beautiful girl and she's crazy about you and you're crazy about her and she's going to make a great fucking living. Like, dude, women are way more forgiving of that. Um, look, if you get yourself like one of these fucking plastic surgery faced whores from the uh, these reality shows. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. But like, you know. And so I, I think women, they're very forgiving. As long as you're working towards something and you're a happy guy, if like, I don't know, when you're dating, it's very hard to find somebody that's happy and you come home and they're in a good mood and they want to do some fun stuff. Um, that's kind of way more important than making a fuckload of money, believe it or not. I mean, once you can pay your bills and you can eat, more money doesn't necessarily make you happier. Um beyond a certain point. Now, I know a lot of people just rolled their fucking eyes, but I'm just saying like, you know, I don't know. That, that's a whole, that's also a whole other conversation about how to use money. So you're not imprisoning yourself. I mean, a lot of fucking people, more money, you know, that dumb song or that dumb analogy, more money, more problems. Um, you know, yeah, because you're going down to the fucking titty bar with money hanging out of your pocket, dumping Cristal all over a rug in front of people who work in cubicles or hustle on a fucking corner, you know? And that's how you end up having lawsuits. I mean, you know, you make a fuckload of money, eventually you're going to have a lawsuit or something. But, like, <laughs> you know, more titty bars, more problems is really what it is. Like, if you, if you make a... You don't have to make that fucking much money. If you go out and you buy a house that you can afford... And I don't mean the mortgage. If you can afford to kick the shit out of the principal, the principal, um, that's 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 the way to go. Even then, they can still fuck with you. It's, it's so goddamn evil. The whole fucking thing is evil. I don't know. Well, geez, that was uplifting, wasn't it? Um, I don't know, sir. If you if you have some sort of a fucking dream, I would. I would. If you if you're if you're making steps every day, working towards that, okay. And she's a, she's the person you're saying she is. She's not going to have a problem with you. All right. Don't fuck it up. Stay in it. All right. Open your heart. Find love, buddy. All right. Okay.